you for joining me for this winter storm segment. Meteorologist Mark Mulner with Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the forecast. We're starting off with the southeast, a portion of the area that I don't usually cover, but there's a major winter storm taking shape this later this weekend into Monday, long duration and high impact event. Let's take a look at the factors. Low pressure ejecting out of the Gulf of Mexico. We'll head across the panhandle of Florida and slowly move up the southeast coast here to my neighbors to the north and the northeast. Unfortunately, there's too much blocking here, high pressure systems that will push this system off the coast once it does, but it'll be slow to exit here across the southeast. Initially, the system, the precipitation will probably start as cold rain. Places like Asheville, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, over towards Roanoke, and Boone and Asheville. So, but as the system, as the cold air from these high pressure systems to the north, cold dry air, low dew points. As that precipitation continues to fall, cold rain will change to snow and even some sleet and freezing rain depending on where that warm tongue of mid-layer air right around 500 to 700 millibars even higher as up as 850 millibars depending on how strong these southeast winds here up to one to two miles up really feeds into the system so places like central portions of north carolina Quite a mess here, to say the least. A lot of mixed precipitation. You'll be back from rain to freezing rain sleet, over to snow, back to freezing rain sleet, and even some rain again, and then back to snow on uh, Monday as the system slowly, you get on the backside here. But as I said, most of the areas that will see tremendous snowfall, places towards the western portion of North Carolina, especially west of Raleigh-Durham here, over towards Charlotte on westward. This is where we could be getting into the 10 to 20 inch range of snowfall. So this, these are hefty snowfall amounts, especially for this part of the country, along the Appalachians, the Smoky Mountains, Roanoke, Virginia, southwestern Virginia here. I am putting you basically in the foot or more category. You could be looking at 12 to as much as 18 inches of snow. Places west of Richmond, Virginia could be getting significant warning criteria snow as well, especially west of the interstate there. Heading southward towards extreme western South Carolina. Cannot rule out at least advisory, maybe low end warning criteria snowfall towards seven, eight inches. Extreme northeast Georgia, you could be looking at at least three to five inches on some of those three or four northeast counties in northeast Georgia here. And then stretching to eastern Tennessee, quite a mixture of precipitation, but I think you'll be getting some significant snow and ice out of this as well. And I'm gonna show you my snowfall map next here. These are all the factors. You got the polar jet feeding into this, upper level low pressure coming in from the mid Mississippi River Valley, uh, moving towards the Appalachians here. And this will feed into the storm here across the southeast that will be ejecting northeastward here. As I said, these upsloping southeast low level jet winds here feeding into the moisture content one to two to as much as two and a half inches of liquid equivalent falling out of this system that's one thing we do have going for this system is the tremendous amount of moisture it'll be feeding into moisture from the pacific the gulf of mexico and once it gets on the other side of florida here the southeastern part of the country the atlantic here so lots of moisture to work with and lots of dynamics High pressures to the north blocking it and providing that cold dry air to the north. Key is dry air as well. Those of you that will be starting out at 38 to 40 degrees cold rain, watch it. As that precipitation falls into that column of air, you could be cooling rapidly and changing to snow or mixed precipitation. Here's my snowfall map that I'm expecting across the southeast part and the central portion of the southern mid-Atlantic here. Take a look. As I said, Roanoke on southwestward here, really getting into the access of the heaviest snow places between like Asheville and Boone over towards, especially from Charlotte on westward. Raleigh, Durham, I cannot rule out warning criteria snow for you as well. You could be, models are really bumping up some of these snowfall amounts within this main area of snowfall that does form on the north, northwest and northeast side of the system. So. There you have it. Snowfall amounts could be pretty significant out of this system. So most of these areas 
looking at widespread five to 10 inches of snow, six to, six to 10 inches likely. And then westward, as I was alluding to here, along the spine of the Appalachians, especially those western counties of North Carolina, extreme western South Carolina, over towards portions of Virginia, especially southwestern Virginia here, really getting into the foot or more category. So this is pretty significant as that low level jet, those southeast winds really push up the moisture here up against these foothills and the Appalachians, that air rises and it squeezes out all of this moisture. And snow ratios will be pretty good as well. So being given all that, the dry air scenario here, high pressure to the north, this is a significant winter storm. Many of you already will be getting more than double or triple or quadruple what you would normally get in a normal winter just out of this one system. We haven't even gotten to the first day of winter yet. So there is a sign for you right there. Let's get right into, I'm going to show you the pattern here precipitation wise. Once again, your eyes are drawn to the southeastern portion of the United States from Texas all the way to Florida, the Carolinas, and there's where it will fall as frozen precipitation. Unfortunately, places like Washington, D.C., towards my forecast area in southeastern and southern Pennsylvania, we're not really looking at little, if any, accumulation. There's too much dry air that the northern shield of precipitation will be battling, and I think the low pressure system will stay too far to the south. There's that pattern, polar jet ejecting into the southeast and Appalachians here. You got the subtropical jet feeding into that low pressure. You got the Pacific moisture, the Gulf of Mexico moisture, and the Atlantic moisture all combining across the southeast to create quite a winter storm here from the Carolinas, Virginia, eastern Tennessee, extreme northeast Georgia. So there you have it, precipitation amounts. Before we get into my snowfall amounts for my forecast area, which unfortunately are not very significant, take a look at this. Here is the tail end of Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, my southern part of my forecast area. There's the rest of his time lapse. Unfortunately, I haven't got his Facebook video to download in a format that's compatible with. Unfortunately, Facebook has gone to some kind of format that is kind of incompatible. But if I get to, if I'm able to convert that, hopefully I can show his second video. But here's the rest of his nice time lapse here showing the snowfall back on November 15th. I want to thank you, Derek, for sending that in. Very beautiful time lapse. Let's get right into the snowfall amounts for my forecast area. As I said, not really looking at much, maybe one, two, maybe as much as three inches from Syracuse on northward here through the weekend with some of those lake effects, especially Friday. Uh, with the colder air reinforcing and off Lake Erie here, places like Jamestown over towards between Erie and Buffalo. Some of these areas and some of the higher elevations off Chautauqua, Allegheny and Cattaraugus County getting upwards of three inches. But for the most part, I think most of the lake effect pretty much shuts off later Friday. So we could see a little bit more significant snowfall accumulations here heading on into your Friday. So that's why I have some areas in the three to six inch range here off Lakes Erie and Lake Ontario. There's some advisories still in effect, some warnings, but for the most part, those will be fading by Saturday into Sunday. So just the classic snow belts here will be dealing with some of that lake effect continuing. Let's get right into the forecast. Friday, yep, we're, there's the snow belts. We got those lake effect bands and streamers. But as I said, later in the day, they'll be kind of drifting on northward and weakening as high pressure builds into the region. So there you have it, clear and cold skies taking over here, only getting into the mid 20s, a popular number across the region into your Saturday. Here it is, high pressure crests across the region, clear and cold, 28 to 32, a popular number from Binghamton, Scranton, Syracuse, Ono down to Pittsburgh, Erie, Buffalo, and heading on towards New York City, places towards the ocean plain here, maybe getting up near the mid to upper 30s. Sunday, here it is. Maybe some of flurries and scattered snowflakes, maybe a snow shower, places like Philadelphia uh, towards Atlantic City. But that northern part of that storm should mostly pretty much stay out of my forecast area. So for you snow lovers in the southern portion of my forecast area, 
not very good news for you. It pretty much stays to the south. We have too much blocking going on. And into Monday, take a look at this. Across the region, we have a little bit, we're gonna bump the temperatures up slightly, but the theme is here clear and cold. Most areas stay from the 32 degree line on southward, freezing, and then partly sunny skies. So there you have it. Take a look at the five day outlook for my hometown viewers, Binghamton to Scranton, all points in between along the Susquehanna River Basin. Starting off with your Friday, hard to believe it's Friday already into Saturday, clear and cold conditions remaining into your Sunday. Look at this, not too bad. Temperatures up towards the, maybe getting into the lower 30s into your Monday and Tuesday. The theme continues, partly cloudy and clear and cold across the region. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern.